Kofa Day, my name is Dr. Margaret Hattori Uchima and I'm the Dean of the School of Health at the University of Guam and I run the nursing program. I really want to thank you for joining us today in this telethon and let you know that we really appreciate any support that you can give us. This battle against the coronavirus is really taking a toll and many of the nurses and other healthcare workers and frontline people are really getting tired. Last night, uh, I, this is Monday, April 6th, and I know this will air in a few days, but last night the numbers that were reported were above 100. It was 112. And so, of course, many of us in the healthcare arena were feeling very sad and, and frustrated and angry. Um, one of our alumni actually posted in social media and said, you know, why did I go to work today? And to be honest, I felt the same way last night. But after getting a good night's sleep and really contemplating it, you know, I realized I know why we're getting up and going to work every day. We're doing it for our families, for our friends, and and for each other. I mean, we, we've got to keep moving. We've got to keep trying to fight this battle, whether you're a nurse at GMH, um, where you're someone working in retail, trying to make sure people get their essential goods, um, medications, things like that. But I really want to thank you and just say that if you have the means, if you can support us in any way, please donate. And please challenge other people to donate as well. Um, so far, we've been buying medical equipment such as face shields, uh, surgical masks. Uh, we're trying to look for isolation gowns and it's so difficult. And it really is scary for the healthcare providers to know that they may be facing these COVID patients without the proper protection. And that really, in my mind, that's, that's unethical. Um, you know, to put our people out there at risk every day and risking their lives to save yours. Um, and so anything that you can do will really help. We're also providing much needed food and water to the staff and nurses throughout the island that are doing things like surveillance, they're doing testing for COVID, um, and they're also uh, answering the call centers, the call center hotlines. And so we really appreciate anything that you can do. People are tired. We didn't have enough healthcare providers before this mess started. And so even a little gesture, like giving someone a bottle of water, giving them a plate of food, makes them really feel like Guam is actually, actually cares, you know, what they're doing um, and can really provide that, that added boost. And so thank you again for any support. We really appreciate it. Those on the front lines need to know that there are those of us that actually care and really want to try to help them as best as we can. So please today, I beg you from the bottom of your hearts, you know, try to, to see what you could give in support of this effort, because this is a fight for all of us, for the whole island. So thank you very much.